Good morning. Sobolev space and weak solutions of differential equations. Sobolev space WLM on uh, domain omega. The Sobolev space WLM on omega is naturally associated with both regular and weak solutions of differential equations. This space is defined by the following relations. The space WLM on omega equals the set of all functions U which have partial derivatives of order absolute value of multi-index uh, alpha uh, in the space LM on omega. For uh, all uh, multi-index alpha with absolute value less than L. Where that space LM on omega is the set of all functions integrable on omega with power M for M greater or equal than 1. Later on we shall also use the subspace W0LM on omega for M greater than 2 and L greater than 1 in the space of this, this space, uh, Sobolev space WLM. The subspace W0L on omega can be obtained as a closure of the class of infinitely uh, differentiable functions on omega which vanish at the boundary as a closure of test functions on omega. Let us note that every function in that class W0L on omega vanishes at the boundary of the domain omega together with all its derivatives up to the order L minus 1. Let us re re recall, uh, observe that L is the order of differentiation of the elements of WL. For example, if U is in W012 on the whole real line capital one, then U vanishes, vanishes and plus and at plus and minus in infinity. In fact, elements of the Sobolev space WLM on omega are generalized functions. That means they are uh, generated by a, uh, a, a locally integrable functions with power m. The integer m and l determine the regularity of the distribution u in the Sobolev space uh, WLM. For example, if a generalized function u belongs to W0L2, then there exists a continuous function in the class of uh, continuous function C on omega, which vanishes at the boundary omega, uh, the omega of omega. The regularity of every U in the Sobolev space W is established by in the following theorem. Theorem. If U is the element of WLM on omega and an integer k satisfies the inequality that the product M times L minus k is greater than N, then there exists a function U, regular function, k times differentiable on omega, continuous and k times differential of omega and there exists a constant m such that the uh, norm of the function u in this uh, uh, in c k uh, omega space that maximum norm is less or equal than this capital m times the norm of the function 
you in the Sobol space WLM. It's called imbending theorem. So in other words, we say that there is a, a regular a representation of the distribution u of every distribution u in omega, which is continuous and different shape up to the order k, so that that distribution is equivalent to the continuous uh, smooth function, different shape up to the order k. Uh, equivalent in the sense that it is equal almost everywhere uh, of a continuous function. Almost everywhere means everywhere except a set of measure zero. Example. Let us consider the Sobolev space W2 on the interval AB of all functions we have first derivative integrable with square on the interval AB. Then in the space we have L equals 1, of course, this one, M equals 2, this 2, and N is a one-dimensional case because of the interval. Then the, multi in the, uh, the inequality, this very inequality we have in the uh, thesis, this inequality is 2 times 1, L is 1, minus k is greater than 1 when n is 1, if k is 0. Hold this inequality holds, of course, when k equals to 0, not for k equals 1, for example. Therefore, every distribution in the Sobolev space w1, 2 on ever is equivalent to a continuous function, uh, which we say c0 on ab. Equivalent means is equal to uh, every distribution is equal uh, is equal to u um, uh, almost everywhere except a set of measures. In other words, every distribution is generated by a continuous function c zero, so that every distribution in omega has representation in this uh, this space c zero of continuous functions. Good. Now let us look in the weak solutions, what we understand by weak uh, solutions. If we consider the simple equation, the derivative equals f, and f is uh, the function which is 1 from 0 to half and 0 from half to 1. Then the function is locally integrable, of course and therefore generates the distribution ff, which is this, or we can write in this, for every uh, test function psi on a 0, 1 interval. Or this, this uh, then uh, uh, multiplying the equation by psi, multiplying this equation by psi, both and integrating uh, both sides from 0 to 1. Uh, yeah, uh, so we have this. Let us multiply both sides of that equation I have in here, 190, by psi integrate, integrate, uh, integrate by uh, in, in the interval 0, 1. Then we obtain the following variational form of equation. Va variational forms of the equation of this original equation. Of course, that is straightforward. Uh, uh, integration from 0 to 1, derivative times psi, and the right-hand side times psi, uh, and uh, u of 0, 0, x equals. Or integrating by parts, if we remove this derivative on psi, then we have minus, because on, uh, the, on the, at the ends of the interval psi is 0, so th that term will vanish, and that is minus this fact. Again, we have this. Or uh, differential, uh, differential equation for the unknown distribution generated by u is written in that form. Let us observe that the function u equals x from 0 to half, half from half to 1, 
satisfies the vari variational equations uh, this and this. And even in the, uh, the original, it is a continuous function. It's a continuous function where x is continuous, this whole style thing. We, we see on, on the graph. It, it is continuous function, but not differentiable at half. And then to check that it is the solution is clear because derivative of this function uh, from 0 to 1 is uh, is, uh, is, uh, uh, is 1, as we have uh, here, is, is 1. At, uh, at the point 0 is 0, but if we are um, uh, after the point half, then the derivative of the constant is 0. So this satisfies the equation, but no, uh, it's not uh, the equation. Uh, uh, the equation is um, uh, of order 1, and the first derivative does not exist. So it cannot be the regular solution of that function. But it is the solution. One can observe that this satisfies that equation and this uh, variational equations. Okay, so that is the function continuous, not differentiable at half. So this is the weak solution of the um, uh, differential equations. The solution in the sense of distribution f u. So the distribution f u, which is, uh, is generalized function generated by that function u, we have uh, uh, seen then, uh, this distribution is called a weak solution of the differential equation, these original equations. The solution is continuous in the interval, as we see on the graph, but not differentiable at half. Therefore, you cannot be a regular solution of that differential. However, the solution u in the, is uh, continuous, has the representation in continuous function, is the most regular representation of the distribution u. Thank you.